Okay, I just did another video. I said it in the exact same way. I understand that the Seahawks game was kind of like, you know, popping a hole in a balloon, like all the air kind of let out and a lot of people are frustrated and like, why they're just left wondering why, right? They have all the injuries they have. It just feels like the same thing is happening again. Hold on. This is the NFL. I would rather have injuries early in the year than late in the year. You remember last year, early in the year, we felt like we had injuries upon injuries upon injuries. And then as all the other teams were getting hurt, we were getting healthy and it ended up being a really good back half of the year for us. So as everybody else was getting hurt, we were getting healthy. Things went well. This year could be similar to that, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about a stat that I am seeing through the first two weeks. It's a team stat that should be really encouraging to us as lions fans and should say why maybe this team could be different than last year's team. And by last year's team, I mean the first half of the year team and why this team could continue to win. We didn't expect to keep going at a nine and two clip, right? Like I hope not, but we did expect to win more games. So one loss isn't going to kill us. So before I give you that stat, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, put a comment. in when you hear what the stat is, tell me if it's as big a deal to you as it is to me. So in this, I'm going to read some stats for you. And I'm going to give you last year's run totals against us. Now, let me just start by saying we were a really good running team last year. We ran for 128 yards a game. All right. We averaged 4.5 yards per attempt. It was really, really impressive. Our run defense was atrocious. It was absolutely pitiful. We had There was 477 running attempts against us a game. We gave up almost 2,500 yards, 2,491. Wow. Wow, that's 146.5 yards per game. That is crazy. With an average of 5.2 per carry. I don't know if I already said that. 5.2. That is for the entirety of the season. All right? This year, smaller sample size. 48, just 48 rushes against us. That's 24 game, okay, for 172 yards. That's 86 yards a game. Not only is it 86 yards a game, it is only 3.6 yards per attempt. 3.6. So this team is doing a better job at stopping the run. And when I say better job, I mean night and day. And you can see it as you're watching the game. Like you can see it. You can see that we're stopping the run. It's just that teams, and by teams, I mean the Seahawks, were still able to pass all over us. They were able to throw the ball around the field. We can do another video on that. We can talk about stuff like that. But right now I want to talk about why is this team stopping the run? Well, if you look deeper into it, you might say to yourself, usually where you stop the run is at defensive tackle. All right, it's at defensive tackle. Well, unfortunately, that's not super true. Of PFF, of three of our four lowest rated players are our defensive tackles. Levi and Wuzurike came in at a 45, Ali McNeil at a 44, and Benito Jones at a 35. Five. Now, I will say their best grade, all of them, is run defense. Uh, tackling is their worst grade, uh, which is really frustrating. Um, I think Aline McNeil needs to start showing some things. Uh, he's got that transformed body. We heard all about it over the offseason. We heard about how he dropped weight, how he's looking so much more athletic, but how he kept, um, you know, or sorry, changed his body, not necessarily even dropped a ton of weight, but how he transformed it and how he's going to be more explosive. How's going to help him in the pass rush, but he was still going to be able to anchor in the run. Um, ooh, that's not happening so much. That's not happening so much. So it's not the defensive tackles. So what is it? It's everybody else named linebackers. Quite frankly, more than anything, it's Derek Barnes. It's Jack Campbell. 
it's it's a guy in Derek Barnes that all of us have given up on. And by the time he actually starts playing phenomenal, by the way, he was our best and second best defender PFF graded over the last over the first two weeks of the season. PFF is traditionally very, very hard on linebackers because they have so much responsibility. Like they have so much responsibility. So, yeah, it's amazing. So we're fr like, it's like finally when we're like, now we're done with this guy. We got Jack Campbell. Now he's playing great. Now he's playing great. Jack Campbell was our eighth overall rated, but one of uh, he was our third highest run defender and our third highest tackle rate. Or fourth, sorry. Brian Branch was in there too. Brian Branch helps with this. All right, Alex Anzalone, not so good. Not so good. And so what you're seeing is not so much from the defensive tackles, but defensive line in general is holding their spots and they are allowing the linebackers to run free and get these tackles. So that brings us to this week and the Atlanta Falcons. The Atlanta Falcons have been phenomenal through the ground on the ground. Bijan Robinson, Tyler Algier have been running like crazy, uh, but they have not been throwing the ball very well. And so, and they, but they put up 25, I believe it was against the Packers. Um, Ritter should have had three interceptions, but what can we do against a team that has proven to be able to run? And I know what you might be thinking. What are you talking about? Proven to be able to run. It's been two weeks. They ran the ball last year too. We know that they're going to run. Teams know that they're going to run. They still run with great success. When I watch Bijan Robinson play, I already think, all right, Christian McCaffrey, I'm going to give you the nod here. But anybody not named Christian McCaffrey, Bijan Robinson is the second best running back in the NFL right now. How can we do against him? Kenneth Walker was a good back last week, like a really good back. And he did some things where he got out of tackles and he was able to move and groove where I was just like, how is he doing this? Right. But Bijan Robinson's a different animal. Tyler Algier will just run through you. He runs hard. It's a lot of fun to watch him run as well. So if the Detroit Lions can stop the run or continue to stop the run against the Atlanta Falcons, it means two things. Number one, we're probably going to win, <laughs> okay? It means we're probably going to win. Number two, it means this run, rush defense might actually be for real this year. And we have schemed up a way, and the players are playing in a way in which we can stop the run. The question is, now, the passing game. How can we do against it? Because C.J. Gardner-Johnson was a big part of what we do in the run defense as well. So can Brian Branch step up? Can Tracy Walker play well, get his nose in there? And... um but the, but the passing game, the defense, pass defense, whew, like it's got to be better. And if we're giving up large amounts of yards to Ritter and the Falcons, you know we got a problem. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, I'm sure we'll see you again before the game. Go Lions. Get them dirty birds. See you.